In early 1811, a rare phenomenon occurred with the birth of Ching and Eng Bunker in Radhanakasan Kingdom or Siam, today's Thailand. What made these twin brothers famous was the fact that they were conjoined at the sternum. They were widely exhibited and were the era's most studied humans. As a result, the term Siamese twins became synonymous with conjoined twins. This extraordinary anomaly of twins joined in utero happens only in about 1 in 70,000 births, more commonly in Southwest Asia and Africa. About 70% are female, many are stillborn, and others die within a day. The reasons why and how conjoined twins are formed are still a mystery. The most adequate explanation is that fission, a partial split of the fertilized egg, occurs. Questions abound regarding how this occurs. Why do some survive? How do these twins have sexual relationships, if possible, and what happens when one of them dies? Let's examine some of the most well-known cases. It's hard to imagine a life as a conjoined twin in which everything is shared with another. Chang and Ang Bunker were born in a village called Miklong. Their mother, Nok, was probably Siamese, Chinese, mixed with Malay. She apparently claimed the twins' birth wasn't more challenging than any of her other children. Their father, Tai Ai, a fisherman with Chinese roots, died when a smallpox epidemic ravaged their area in 1819. Nok raised ducks with the help of her kids and treated Chang and Ang just like her other children, not paying any special attention to their strange condition. The twins played with other kids just as normal children do. In 1824, a Scottish merchant, Robert Hunter, was in a fishing boat on the Menham River at dusk and thought he saw a strange animal swimming. When he realized that he discovered the twins, he saw a way to rake in the cash. After five years of petitioning the King of Siam, who forbade him to take the twins out of the country and had ordered their death, he finally took them off to the U.S. He and the American sea captain, Abel Coffin, signed a contract with the 18-year-old twins for a tour which lasted five years. Abel Coffin remained a father figure to the twins for years. Later, the brothers were distressed to hear a rumor that their mother had sold them into slavery. Chang and Ang landed in Boston on the 16th of August, 1829. They were checked out by physicians and became a media sensation and popular exhibit. They then toured the British Isles and returned to New York in March 1831, by which time they were fluent in English and sought to appeal to a more upper-class sector, although their exhibitions could appear crude. They went to Europe again, then back to the U.S. James W. Hale became their first manager. In 1831, the twins were jeered at and harassed in Linfield, Massachusetts, and struck a man. He reacted by hitting one of their heads with a stone, causing bleeding. The twins fired blanks at him, which led to their arrest. Their angry manager resigned and was replaced by Charles Harris. Chang and Ang faced several other conflicts with audience upheavals. They felt abused by Mrs. Coffin and escaped to Bath, New York, where Abel found them and gave them a good thrashing for whoring, gaming, and drinking. Thereafter, the twins obtained their freedom and continued to perform on their own. In 1839, they purchased land and settled in Wiles County, Northwest Carolina, stopped performing, and turned their focus to business trading. Disregarding public objections and condemnations, the twins married, Eng to Sarah Yates and Chang to Adelaide Yates. They took on the surname of Bunker, that of a woman they'd admired. The twins bought another property in Mount Airy and lived a luxurious life as plantation owners with several slaves. Adelaide birthed four children and Sarah three. Chang and Eng began performing and touring again in 1849 to earn more money for their now expanded families. Their performances became more distinguished and intellectual. They returned home in April of 1861 at the outbreak of the American Civil War. By 1865, when the war ended, they had suffered financial losses and their slaves were emancipated, so they once again went on tour. In 1860, they signed up with the famous P.T. Barnum for a month, but they didn't get on with him, so they declined his offer of a longer tour. Between 1868 and 1870, they traveled to Britain, Germany, and Russia. Their plans to further tour Europe were thwarted by the Franco-Prussian War. During their voyage home, Chang suffered a stroke and his right side, which faced Ang, became paralyzed, so they finally retired. Chang became a heavy drinker and his health deteriorated. Reports state that he had suffered a bout of bronchitis and in early in the morning of the 17th of January, 1874, his nephew checked in whilst the twins were sleeping. 
and informed Aang that Cheng was dead. Aang declared, then I am going, and passed away a mere two hours later. The twins were 62 at the time, and until 2012, held the record for being the longest living conjoined twins. Chang's death was possibly attributed to a cerebral blood clot, but the cause of Ang's death was never established. The most popular theory was that he had died of shock, or that his body could not circulate blood back from his brother's deceased body. Because Chang and Ang were connected at the sternum and their livers were connected, it was presumed that undergoing surgery for separation would have been fatal. Indications are that had they undergone the medical technology now available, they could have been separated successfully. Chang and Ang left a legacy behind them. They were mentioned and immortalized in films, plays, poetry, novels, pamphlets, cartoons, and the musical Chang and Ang by Ekachi Ukrankham, which premiered in Singapore in 1997. They also featured in the 2017 musical The Greatest Showman about the Barnum and Bailey Circus. Chang and Ang are commemorated by a statue in their birth town, now known as Samut Songkram. Their fused livers were preserved in a jar with their death cast and are displayed in the Mütter Museum in Philadelphia. There is also an exhibit at the Andy Griffith Museum as well as in the Circus World Museum. The lives of some other well-known conjoined twins include Ronnie and Johnny Galen, born in Daytona, Ohio, and the 28th of October, 1951, featured in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the longest surviving conjoined twins. Joined from sternum to groin, they shared their lower pelvic organs and lived their lives face to face. After being studied for over two years in the St. Elizabeth Hospital, it was speculated that they wouldn't survive very long, but it was decided that it was unsafe to separate them. They were never formally educated because they were thought to be a distraction at school and so remained illiterate. Their father, Wesley, who had nine kids to support, took the twins on tour as a sideshow attraction around the U.S. and then later Latin America and Canada. Ronnie and Donnie became celebrities and earned enough to support their family and to retire in 1991. They bought their first home and appeared on television numerous times. For example, The Jerry Springer Show in 1997, on Discovery Channel in 1998, on Channel 5 in 2009, and in numerous YouTube videos. Even though it was difficult for them to get around, simple tasks were always a challenge, and it took them a while to learn how to keep house. They were pretty much independent. They were American football fans and got to realize their dream when they saw their favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys, in the NFL. It was a logistical ordeal to fly them there with a the custom-made wheelchair their youngest brother, Jim, had arranged for them. According to Jim and his wife, Mary, who were always there to support and help the young men, they would have loved to have gone to school and to have had a normal life and relationships, but it simply wasn't possible. Ronnie contracted a lung infection, and they both passed away on the 4th of July, 2020. Their doctor, Dr. Glenn Quite, described how commonly when one twin dies, the other might not die right away and can live for up to another day, as it's a deeply distressing situation, the surviving twin is usually sedated until nature takes its course. Lori and Dory George Chapel were born in Pennsylvania on the 18th of September, 1961. They were joined by the head, craniopagus, facing in opposite directions and had partially fused skulls. They shared 30% of their brains and blood vessels, an extremely rare documented case up to 6% only. Sadly, their parents were shocked and confused by the birth of their strange babies and placed them in an institution for mentally handicapped people where they spent the first 24 years of their lives. Thanks to a good Samaritan, Ginny Thornburr, the wife of a former governor of Pennsylvania who proved that they were not intellectually disabled, the twins were able to leave the institution and move into their own apartment in a high-rise building in Reading, Pennsylvania. Lori and Dory featured on television in many talk shows and documentaries, as well as acting as fictional conjoined characters Rose and Raven Rosenberg in an episode of Nip Tuck in 2004. In 2007, Lori came out as transgender and became George, which made them the first set of conjoined twins identifying themselves with different genders. Lori was able to walk while her brother had spinal bifida and couldn't walk unaided, so she pushed him around on a mobile high stool. Lori worked in a hospital after obtaining a college degree, and while she was working, George would sit reading a book. George was a professional country singer and even worked overseas. Their lives were completely made up of sacrifice and patience, 
and Lori was quoted by the LA Times as saying, It all comes down to compromise. If more people in life did that, the world would be a better place. The twins were 62 years old when they passed away on the 7th of April 2024. The cause of death hasn't been publicly revealed. There are many types of conjoined twins, but the most common is thoracophagus, meaning connected in the upper rib cage. In this case, if they share a heart, when one dies, the living twin would more than likely suffer septic shock and organ failure. Omphalophagus is twins conjoined from the breastbone to the waist, whereby they might share organs such as the liver and a gastrointestinal and reproductive system. An operation to separate them would depend on where they are specifically attached, but is generally high risk. Many separations in the past have resulted in death for one of the twins, but there have been some partially successful separations. Ancient artworks and literature have depicted conjoined twins from as early as the year 300 in Peru, Palestine, Arabia, England, Scotland, Hungary, Italy, and other countries. There is an historical record of separation during the 900s where doctors tried to separate a twin that had died from its living twin. The survivor lived for three days after surgery. In 1689 in Germany, Dr. Johannes Fadio performed the first known successful split. Also, Dr. Baum operated on his own omphalophagus children four days after which the weaker one died. In 1955, the first successful operation to separate craniophagus twins was achieved in Chicago, and both survived for many years, although one suffered permanent brain damage. Faith and Rose were born in February 1999. Their mother learned during her 14th week of pregnancy that she was carrying conjoined babies, was advised to have an abortion but opted to give birth anyway. The babies were joined hugging face to face, Rose was parasitic and depended on Faith's heart for her blood circulation. They were separated when three days old, as keeping Rose alive would have killed her sister. Rose died 24 hours after surgery, but Faith lived on and took on Rose as her second name. She endured multiple surgeries and adjustments, not to mention the trauma of being labeled a freak of nature at school, but her greatest desire was to be an inspiration to others. She's currently writing a children's book about undergoing several operations to settle other kids' minds. She married on the 16th of October, 2021, at the age of 22, to U.S. Marine Tyler Roberts. In 1957, history was made by the first successful separation of Omphalopagus twins James Edward Jimmy and John Nelson Johnny Freeman. Born in Youngstown, Ohio, on the 27th of April, 1956, both survived. A great success story is that of Lillian and Linda Matthews Wilson, who were separated in 1955 and survived. When their mother went into labor, she had no idea that she was carrying twins until the doctor realized there was something strange going on. Lillian and Linda were safely delivered, connected from the navel to the sternum and sharing a liver. Their separation surgery took place when they were about five weeks old, and against all odds, the two survived. They turned 68 years old in 2024, have seven children, and are grandmothers to 16 children between them. Similarly, Amy Lynn and Jamie Lynn Arsenega were born in October 2022, conjoined in the same way, including sharing a liver. Their parents were shocked to find out that they were conjoined through an ultrasound taken in the 10th week of pregnancy. They chose to continue, and in January 2023, 25 doctors at Cook Children's Medical Center, Fort Worth, Texas, successfully separated the twins after an 11-hour operation. Their future looks bright, and doctors are optimistic about their recovery and ability to live normal lives. The most recent success story of a separation is a 14-hour operation by London surgeon Professor Noor Ul Awasi Jilani with a team of doctors on twin girls Minal and Mara on the 19th of July, 2024, in Gemini Untwined in Turkey. The craniopagus baby girls were born in Pakistan. The surgery using mixed reality MR technology was done in two stages and was highly successful. The twins are thriving and expected to fully develop. MR is breakthrough cutting edge technology and combines 3D images with the physical world, which enables surgeons to rehearse the procedure through visualization. This increases the precision of the complex procedure and gives hope to other cases around the world and for the future. There is a long list of conjoined twins from all corners of the world who have lived incredible lives, featuring fictionally or non-fictionally in films, 
For example, Freaks in 1932, Sisters 1972, Big Fish in 2003, and Alone in 2007, among many more. It has mostly been established that if conjoined twins aren't separated as infants, it's dangerous to separate them when older. If they lived together, they would die together. One can only but admire these intertwined brave beings for forging a place for themselves in this world, creating success and triumphing over their unimaginable adversity, often due to the skill of the medical professionals who undertake the necessary surgical operations. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.